Hey guys and welcome back to another Minecraft GAA prediction video. It is our first prediction video of the Hurling Championship. So let's jump right in and get this started. And our first game kicking off the championship this year is in the Christie Ring Cup and it is between London and Sligo. Now London were kind of a Midland team during the league and Sligo came very close to winning the league. So I think the advantage is sitting with Sligo and that's who I'm going to go with and I'm going to say by six points. I think Sligo will come out just that small bit stronger than London and they'll manage to pull away in the end. So Sligo to win by six points. Up next we have a match in the Laurie Mar Cup between Monaghan and Cavan. Difficult one. A difficult one. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Monaghan on this. I think they're just a little bit better. So I'm, I'm going to say by three points. I think they'll just come out the stronger team in the end. So Monaghan to win by three points. Up next in the Lorimar Cup, it is Leitrim versus Longford. Now Longford came closer to winning the league than Leitrim did. So I think I'm going to stick with Longford because of that. And I'm going to say by four points. I think Longford are a team that there's definitely improvements there that are just waiting to be made so Longford to win by four points and our final game in the Laurie Mar Cup for the weekend is Lancashire versus Loud now Lancashire they did not do great in the league at all they just didn't they didn't come out at all Loud however done pretty well um, so I'd be expecting Loud to win this one and I imagine Based on Lancashire's performance in the league, it'll be by quite a bit. I'm going to say 8 points. I think Lancashire just, they won't, they won't be able for it. They just won't be able for it. So, loud to win by 8 points. Next, we have the Nicky Record Cup. Fermanagh versus Donegal. Now, Fermanagh won the league. Donegal didn't? Donegal didn't win the league, did they? I don't think they did. See, now I have to check this. No, Donegal did not win the league. So, I think it's kind of in Fermanagh's favour. But Donegal are a pretty decent team, so I think it's going to be close. But I'm going to say Fermanagh on the this and I don't think it'll be by much I think it'll only be by one point it'll be one lucky point at the end of it so for mana to win by one point next in the Nicky record cup we have Armagh versus Ross Common it's gonna be a close enough one I think Armagh are probably the stronger team here so I think I'm gonna stick with them and I'm gonna say by four points I think Armagh are they're they're definitely working their way up. So, Armagh to win by four points. Next in the Nicky Record Cup, we have Warwickshire versus Tyrone. Now, Warwickshire were not up for it in the league. Tyrone won the league. If I'm right. Yes, Tyrone won the league. Warwickshire got relegated. So I think it's heavily in Tyrone's favour. And I imagine it'll stay that way. And I imagine they'll win by quite a bit. I'm going to say Tyrone by 10 points. I think Tyrone are definitely becoming a strong hurling team. So I think they're definitely going to be in the running for the Nicky Rackard Cup. So Tyrone to win by 10 points. Up next we have the Christie Ring Cup. Derry versus Wicklow. Now, Derry won the league, Wicklow got relegated. So, I think this is heavily in Derry's favour. And I'm going to say, oh no, Wicklow didn't get relegated, did they? They, they survived the last second and relegated Mayo, didn't they? 
So I think it, but I still think it's going to be in Derry's favour, and I'm going to say by five points. Because I think that Derry are a team that are kind of they're very they're right in the middle where it's decided on whether you're a very lower tier team or you're one of the more upper tier teams. So Derry to win by five points. And finally, in the Christie Ring Cup, we have Mayo versus Kildare. Now, Mayo did get relegated, and I think Kildare got relegated, or they just about survived. No, oh, yeah, Kildare survived. So, I think it's in Kildare's favour. Um, I think... I. They probably won't win by too much. I imagine they'll win by a, a bit, but not. I want to say four points. I think they'll just pull away with the four point gap at the very end. So Kildare to win by four points. So there you have it. Those are my predictions for the weekend's hurling fixtures. Next weekend we'll have more hurling and the football will finally begin. So, be sure to check out those videos and my results videos for these fixtures. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you for the next one.